All right, guys, I think we got him coming in. Come on. 55 yards out. He's kind of quartering at us there, but he should turn broadside. Well, guys, we came out here the other night and we had an absolute blast coyote hunting, but then I found an absolute monster white tail buck. Uh, we just jumped up a giant white tail buck right there. He had a minimum of 240. 240 to 289. This buck is so big that I really wanted to try and get him with a bow. But the thing is, I don't know where he's hanging out at. So what we did is we went out there and set up some trail cams and got some really, really awesome pictures of him. You can see just how wide he is and how many points he has. I think he's like a 13 or a 14 pointer. Probably about a 20, 22 inside. This buck is 200 plus all day long. Just an absolute giant white tail buck. So we kind of got a good idea on um, where he's hanging out, but I don't know where he's going to go. I just know he kind of crosses through there at some time. I do know that he beds in that area. The thing is, it's going to be super early in the morning. Now the key is we're going to have to try and figure out where he's going to go after he beds, or we're going to have to get there before he beds and kind of wait until he's about to leave. That way it's light enough out to be able to take a shot. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you where we spotted that giant white tail buck over here by Belmont River System and uh, just north of the Belmont outpost here. We're over here and I spotted that white tail running away right over here. He was going this way. We ended up putting some trail cameras out and we got the pictures right here. So this is right where he's going to be bedding. But from midnight until 530 in the morning, it's going to be pretty dark out. So what I want to do is wait until it gets a little bit more light out during the day today, probably around like 11 o'clock in the morning when uh, the buck is somewhere else feeding. And we're going to get over there, set up a tree stand, I think like right here. That way, okay, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I'm probably like 90% sure that there's a good chance this buck here is going to be drinking somewhere over here. But if I'm wrong, then he's going to be going this way. But either way, we'll be set up here and we'll be able to see where he's gonna go all right so here we go we're heading in from the back side now technically we could come in from this lodge here and go directly right to our spot but because the wind is actually blowing in our face i don't want to put our scent all over that spot so we're going to come in from the back side coming up through here and probably put our stand right about here this is where that white tail should be hanging out okay guys this is it we're about 50 yards out from where i want to set up our tree stand here now there's also a black tail buck right over there I forgot there's a whole herd of blacktail over here as well, and one of them is actually a pretty good buck. So if we get lucky enough to get our giant white tail and that big blacktail comes by, I think we might take him as well. Alright, now we just gotta find the tree that we're gonna set up our stand here. There's a pretty nice little shooting lane right here, so I think this actually might work out good as long as this is behind us and we still have a good wind. Yeah, this should be his trail. I'm pretty sure he's gonna come right down this path here. This is where I've been seeing him the last couple of nights. And I think we're gonna set up our stand right in that tree right there. It's gonna be about 60 yards out. So if that buck is over here, we'll still potentially be able to take the shot. All right guys, so this is where we got the trail cam picks, right there, he was about 40 yards out. There's a pretty nice little opening here and I'm pretty sure he should walk right past here, maybe like 40 yards, depending on if he goes left or if he goes right, I don't know. But I'll show you on the map. He's either gonna go over here, drink probably somewhere over here, or he's gonna drink somewhere over here. I don't know for sure, but we're set up here in the middle. So if he's gonna rest here, eventually he's gotta go either this way or this way, and we should be able to cut him off when that happens. So there's a really cool tree, I think right here. That should work out. Yes, it will definitely work. This will definitely work. I think we're gonna set it up right there. And let's take a look and see what we're dealing with here. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. He was bedded right there. That's going to be his bedding spot. 40 yards out. Now see how the wind is slowly blowing this way? It's not bad. It's definitely not amazing. But I think if we get here early enough in the morning, the wind should actually be uh, kind of right back in our face. So we should have a perfect wind. In fact, when we were here, when the coyotes were here, the wind was blowing right back in our face and it was I think like four o'clock in the morning. So at that point we should have a good wind and this should be a pretty awesome setup. All right, now we're gonna get ready, uh, go change our clothes, get warmed up, have a good night's sleep and come back here in the morning and hope that we can find this giant buck. 
All right, guys, it's game time. It's about 2.30 in the morning now. We're heading out to our stand here. We're probably 350 yards away from our stand. It's uh, really early in the morning because we need to get here when he's actually bedded. We need to be sneaky, and we need to crawl all the way up into our tree stand without him noticing us. Let me show you where we're at now. We have our tent set up right here, and we're basically, yeah, about like 350 out from our stand. All right, guys, we're almost to our stand. It's about 20 yards in front of us here. We're going pro now because these bucks should be bedded maybe like 60 yards to the right side of us. You're not gonna believe this, guys, but our giant buck is bedded right here, 50 yards in front of us. Look at the size of that buck. You can hardly see him right now, but it's still pretty early in the morning. We're waiting until he wakes up and it gets a little bit lighter out so we can actually make a call or see if we can't get him to come this direction. Okay, guys, it's starting to get light out and there he is right there. You can just see how wide he is right now. What an incredible whitetail buck. He's bedded right there about 67 yards away. Just, I want to be able to get him to stand up. Okay, he just stood up, he just stood up. We got a call, we got a call, we got a call. Wow, look at how wide that buck is. That's got to be one of the widest bucks that I've ever seen here. It is just a giant whitetail buck. Look, at, he's coming in the backside, which actually is a good thing because the wind is in our favor at this moment here. But he's definitely being stubborn, taking his time coming in here. Holding tight at about 50 yards out right there. But look at the size of that buck. Jeez. He's actually pretty broadside there. We could take that shot if we need to. But I want to be a little more patient and see if we can't get him to come a little bit closer. Wow, he's so broadside. I would probably take that, but there's a branch right between him and kind of the vitals there. Okay. Let's just see what he's going to do. He's working his way left. Jeez. I think what I want to do now is definitely get a range on him. He's going to be about 50 yards right there. But we got to get him to come this way a little more. Well guys, our white tail didn't come in, but take a look right here. This is the giant black tail buck I was telling you guys about. He's coming in right past, right where the white tail was. He trotted off over that direction there. And we're gonna try and get him in a little bit here. But right now, we got a beautiful black tail buck. And he's only 50 yards out broadside right there. So I think we're gonna probably take this opportunity to take this shot. We're zeroed in for 20, but that's 50. Shot looked perfect. You're not gonna believe this, guys, but I think he's coming back. Okay, he's about 50. He's definitely in range. He is definitely in range. Just a matter of getting to step out a little bit there. All right, guys, I think we got him coming in, come on. 55 yards out, he's kind of quartering at us there, but he should turn broadside. About 50 out. Come on. Right in that thick brush. Just smoked him. We took about a 50 yard shot, guys. Oh my god, he's down. Holy. You don't even understand how long we've been waiting to make that happen. <laughs> he's been sitting in that thick brush for so long. And finally he stepped out in this opening here about 55. And we let one fly. <sighs> he's an absolute giant buck, guys. Man, 
We'll have to come back in a little bit and see if we can't find that other blacktail. He's a beautiful buck, but he's nothing compared to the one that we got down over here. This whitetail is an absolute monster buck. And we've been trying to get him for a couple days now. Actually, maybe even a week. He has not been an easy buck to get to. I think we hit him somewhere, somewhere over here. And there he is piled up right here, guys. Whew, he's big. He's really, really big. By far the biggest buck that we've seen on our property here in a long time. Wow. Look at that thing. Just a phenomenal whitetail buck. We'll uh, try and get a screenshot if we can. All right. We're gonna pick him up. He's gonna score 257. We ended up making a liver shot, hit him a little bit far back as he was walking at 52. But you know what? We had to take kind of a far shot and we definitely connected. He's an absolute monster white tail buck. I am so glad to have this. So it looks like we actually might've hit maybe a little bit back, but I also think that he might've taken a step as we took that shot. Still not a bad shot at all. Um, considering 52 yards is definitely not a close shot. Uh, we were sitting in the stand for maybe two hours waiting for him to get up out of his bed. Finally, he got up and he started trotting away. We started calling a bunch of times to get him to come back and he just wouldn't come past like 60, 65 yards. Finally, we got him to 50, but he stopped in the thickest brush. We couldn't take a shot. And finally, we drew back. And as soon as I thought we had a chance, we let one fly for 50. We made a pretty awesome shot considering he only ran maybe 40 yards, you know. Liver shot's a pretty solid, pretty solid shot, so I'm I'm really happy with that. And that's just a giant whitetail buck. I couldn't be happier. Could not be happier. Well guys, we just got down here to take a look and see how good we hit that blacktail buck, and we just found a massive herd of whitetail. Honestly, I think that one in the back looks pretty that's a giant. That's another giant whitetail buck. He's about 100 yards out. And I think that's another good one there too. Ooh, yeah, that's another really, really good whitetail. Got a really high rack there and another super wide buck. But the biggest buck is way back there. Honestly, we might be able to take down this buck first. He's right there at about 60. Actually, if he stopped right there. Perfect shot. Ooh, we just dropped him. The other buck doesn't really know what's going on yet. It's a little bit spookish, but I feel like he should eventually come back this way. Oh, that's him. It's about 55 out. That's a shot if he turns broadside. Come on. That's a smoke buck down. 50 yards out. Man, these big bucks are so smart. The wind started shifting. So that actually kind of didn't really help us out too much. But still, we had a decent wind at first and he just didn't want to come in. At least we got both big bucks down. So let's go over here and go grab this one. I think he's piled up right over here. Here he is down right here, guys. Our second biggest buck of the hunt. Pretty awesome rack on him as well. I think we made about like a 50 yard shot as well. Let's find out. 214 and we made a double lung at 61 yards out with the bow. Whew, that was an awesome shot. That buck was definitely smoked. But where do we hit this buck is the next question. This buck here was probably closer to like 65 actually. Here he is down right here. Let's take a look. Yeah, actually according to that shot placement there, it looks like we smoked him too. Let's find out. That's gonna be a 63 yard double lung heart shot and a 251 giant whitetail buck. Another monster, he weighed 200 pounds. 
But take a look at that shot. Double long heart at 63 yards out right there. Man, that is right on the money. Beautiful white tail. So we got some pretty good butt on our black tail here and he was running this direction. There he is down right here. We found him and he's going to score 141. Looks like we made a 64 yard left lung shot on him. I kind of figured we might only got a single lung because we watched him run up over that hill there. And uh, I couldn't quite tell if he was going to go down or not, but the tracer looked pretty much perfect. And a 141 black tail is a pretty big black tail buck. I am very happy with that. Not only that, we already have that monster white tail buck down. What an awesome hunt this has been so far. That's a rare piebald black tail buck and he's actually goal potential. That is such a cool looking rare. I think I've only seen one of these and uh, I don't even think we've ever had one in the trophy lodge before. It looks like he's going to be feeding out there at about 100 yards out from us, but what a cool looking rare. We'll take out the M1 on this. And he's down. Man, that is such a cool rare. Well, here he is. Let's take a look. Can't see him the greatest from here, but we're going to take a look. And a 131. Man, he almost made gold. That's a rare piebald black tail buck. And a very unique looking one, too. And I'm getting shoulder blade and a single lung at 105. But yeah, that is definitely going in our trophy lodge. Man, does it feel good to be back at our trophy lodge, guys. This is our 22 inside, 257 scoring giant white tail buck that we took at 55 yards out of the tree stand. Actually, right over here is the black tail buck that we got. We took him at about 50 yards as well. We decided to get him mounted there. And then this is our super rare. I mean, it's not like a super, super rare, but it's super rare because I've only seen one of these. Our rare piebald black tail buck. He was almost a gold. If he was a gold scorer in Blacktail, then I would definitely call that a super rare. But what a cool rack. And we actually got the other buck mounted too. The 256, uh, actually 252 scoring white tail that we took. We double lung heart shot him at 61 yards. That's gonna be this buck right here, 251. And this is our biggest buck of the hunt right here. 257.6. What an awesome hunt, and what a good way to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.